in. And now you'll see this man, Tyrone Forte, whose brother was a big star here last year. That's going to be the offensive backfield who's going to have to try to get even in this game. Bacella will kick this time from his 35. Carey and Forte back deep. Tom Bacella. That's Forte. The kick again fairly short. Forte will take it at the 16-yard line. To the 25. Still on his feet to 30. 35 and fights his way as he fumbles the ball, but recovered by Santa Clara. Number 71, Bruce Owen, recovered the fumble as Forte went down as he crossed the 35-yard line. Perry Parmley, the outstanding receiver that Lee told you about earlier, and he is a great one. Greg Page is the flanker. Did not even start in high school, and Phil Otterson, the tight end, a 6'2", 200-pound senior. Dave Alfaro, 6'2", 190-pound senior out of Covina. Work out of the eye formation. The motion is Page. The give is to Gahey across the 40 and fights his way to the 44-yard line. The hit was made by number 53, Jan Kirchhoff, and Ralph Gallagher finished him off. Interior line for the Santa Clara Broncos. Gary Hoffman is only 6'7", 250 pounds, and he's still a growing sophomore. Jim Goudreau, 6'2", 225-pound senior. Chuck Buckingham, 6'3", 235-pound senior. Tom Bordenave, 6'3", 235, senior. And Brown, 6'5", 240 pounds. Two big, strong tackles on this team. Second down, about four yards to go. Out of the I formation again, Alfaro gives to the second man through his tailback Lane. And Jimmy Lane out of Oakland takes it across the 45 down near the 50-yard line as Kevin Reeder makes the stop, number 75, close to a first down. They got it. The defensive line, four-man line, Gil Martin, Dugan, Reeder, and Jerry Schmidt. Gil Martin, the leader there, with 10 tackles. And excellent linebackers. Kirchhoff, the leader there, 93 individual tackles. Hasselberg, a great high school All-American. As a matter of fact, Lee, this guy had 282 tackles in high school in a three-year career. How's that? Good numbers. Dave Alfaro. As Page and Parmalee, his wide receivers, he drops straight back to pass. The pass complete to his tight end. Number eight, or check it, that's his fullback. Number 89, Tony Gahey. It used to be his tight end. Gahey moved to fullback this game, a six-yard game. Defensive backfield, Ralph Gallagher, a good hitter with four interceptions. Alarcio has one interception, and Chris Jones has four interceptions. That's nice to have a fullback who's a former tight end because you can put him on those routes, the flats, the swings, and sometimes also you'll run him deep. 6'3", 220-pound junior out of Loyola High School. His, his team was once ranked with the number one high school team in the country. Second down and four. Come on, the gift to Lane. Lane hits the hole hard before he's stopped by Jan Kirchhoff and Sven Hasselberg. One-yard gain for Jimmy Lane, who moves into a starting role just in the last three or four games. As a matter of fact, he had uh, 448 yards in his last three games. That's an interesting number because he had 577 yards for the season, 448 of those in the last three games. As a result of that, he has emerged as a key to these playoffs. As you take a look at Alfaro's stats, very impressive, but as a matter of fact, even more impressive last year when he hit a 65.4% of his passes to lead the NCAA Division II. Third down and two. The give on the delay is to Gahey. Gahey close to first down yardage and may have fought his way forward to the 40-yard line before Kirchhoff gets it, but not before Gahey gets the first down. The second effort by Gahey is what did it. He really bucked and snorted there at the last as he got to the 40-yard line and just really carried a couple people over for the first down yardage. Gahey coming into the game with 53 carries, 263 yards, 4.9 yards a carry, and only one touchdown. He's actually got, uh, he does better on pass receptions with 20 for 226 yards. First down for Santa Clara. We promised you an offensive show. Takes the give as Alfaro rolls out, throws into the flat, almost intercepted. Stepping in front with LaCharles McDaniel, number 45. But Charles is pretty happy about that move. Pass was intended for Page. We're going to see play action pass with a bootleg by Alfaro, and he's trying to go to his wide receiver on the left. And watch Lee Charles McDaniel with perfect timing step in front of number 81, Perry Parmalee. 
Second down, still 10 yards to go. Alfaro, I think, is changing the play at the line of scrimmage. The give is to Gahey. Gahey crosses the 35 down to the 34-yard line. Jan Kirchhoff again with the stop. Very possibly he was audibilizing that time, seeing something in the defensive coverage, which necessitated a check off to his fullback and seven yards, once again by number 89, Tony Gahey. Gahey has carried three times for a total of 16 yards so far. So far we've had a battle of fullbacks. Yeah. Two guys who weren't supposed to be carrying the ball. Yep. Barry Parmley splits wide to the right side. The gift to Lane. Lane tackled by Hasselberg as he crosses the 30-yard line. Down to about the 29, a four-yard gain. And very close to a first down. He got it. Lane is a strong, punishing runner with 10 flat speed and a 100-yard dash. And as you pointed out a moment ago, has really emerged in the latter part of the season and now becomes a key in the Division II playoffs. Number 84, Kirk Fletcher checks into the Santa Clara lineup. First and 10, 29 yard line. Now Farrell back to throw. Across the middle, complete. Phil Otterson, number 85, takes it to the 20 yard line before number 58. Then Hasselberg, the linebacker, makes the stop. Otterson just got married, as a matter of fact. Comes into the ball game with 281 yards and five touchdowns. So Eight that's part of his up. honeymoon, is That's right. He had a back injury, interesting enough, back in spring training, and they didn't know whether he was even going to be able to play this year. He's been a tight end, he's been a cornerback, he's been a wide receiver. As a matter of fact, Pat Malley calls him the best athlete on the Santa Clara team. He's a pretty good athlete himself, Dave Alfaro. Alfaro gives the lane. Keeps it across the 20 down to the 16 yard line. Alfaro is the leader in career passing yardage, and traditionally they have had great quarterbacks here at Santa Clara. Most impressive, of course, was Dan Pastorini, now a member of the Oakland Raiders. Jim Lane with seven touchdowns. You know, interestingly enough, against Hayward earlier this year, Lane had 114 yards in the first quarter. That's moving. First down. Ball at the 16-yard line. Alfaro gives the lane again over his right guard. Picks up a couple of yards before Hasselberg and Jerry Schmidt, the big tight end, make the stop. Give him a gain of two yards. Schmidt, a 6'4", 235-pound sophomore. Running right behind Goodrow and Brown. That Don Brown is some kind of hawk. 6'5", 240. Well, Goodrow's going to be looking at him next year. Only a junior. Second down, eight yards to go. Page splits wide to the left side. Parmalee comes to the right. Santa Clara moving towards the south here in San Luis Obispo. All fire the pass across the middle. Page complete at the seven yard line. Number 45, McDaniel makes the stop. A well thrown ball because I'll tell you, McDaniel was right on top of Page. With double coverage on Parmalee, you can look for Greg Page to find some open areas today in that zone coverage. Watch him on a down and in route coming from left to right, and watch this pass. That is a curl in route, and it has to be thrown with perfect timing, and the execution there was just right. Greg close, Page, number eight. Close to a first down as you see the measurement. I'll tell you, you can't fault McDaniel that time. He was right on him, Lee. This is going to be close. It's about... A Looks like an inch or so away. You've heard the cliche, this is a game of inches. Alfaro says it's an inch. The referee says it's four inches. <laughs> <laughs> Alfaro wants to go for it. Well, like we say, it's a game of inches. <laughs> Third down and just inches. Ball inside the 10-yard line, very close to the five. As a matter of fact, call it the six. Sometimes that's a good time to go for the whole thing. Play action pass and try to get it all. Alfaro, three for four, 23 yards so far as you take a look at Joe Harper, the head coach at Cal Poly. Alfaro takes it himself and picks up the first down. It'll be first and goal at the four. Kaufman there to make the stop along with Kirchhoff and Hasselberg along with the entire defensive line. Alfaro out of Covina, 6'2", 190-pound senior. Straight A student as you look at Joe Harper, the head coach at Cal Poly. 
13th season. This man has never had a losing season here. I was just going to say, never had a losing season, and in 1972 took his team to the Camellia Bowl where he had a close loss to North Dakota. I covered who, that game. I was going to, who broadcast yeah. that game? Lee Grosko. Along with Keith Jackson. First and goal. The give to Lane. Lane over his left tackle. Fakes his way down close to the goal line. They're going to stop him close right at the one-yard line as Mel Kaufman makes the stop along with Kevin Reeder. Fletcher bringing the play in from the sideline. Replaces Page. This is Pat O'Malley in the white sweater. Pat O'Malley, rather. The plays come in uh, via messengers. The wide receivers are the messengers. Uh, Pat Malley sends the plays in. However, uh, the quarterback does have the choice to audibleize, which he sometimes does. Not very often, but occasionally. Second and goal. Split back this time. Alfaro takes it himself and is hit hard. But not before he got the touchdown. Jan Kirchhoff really leveled him right at the goal line, but Alfaro took it over. He gets a, a big hug from number 75, Chuck Buckingham, his center. I like this. The old quarterback sneak, calling your own number when you're down in there. One of the things the that it does, yeah, I don't understand the defense. I do not understand that defensive alignment. It's not good to have that kind of spacing when they're down that close. And one of the things he does is he reaches with the football. Kirchhoff had actually stopped it. To get it him. over the end line. Brian Sullivan who has hit 35 of 36 extra points this year. Tries to tie it up. It's good. We're tied with 2 minutes, 26 seconds left to play here in the first quarter of the score. All tied, 7-7. The Broncos won't buck. Okay, they did on that rally. The Broncos won't buck? <laughs> or will buck. 15 yards, or 15 plays and 62 yards. The kick goes deep and out of the end zone. 62 yards in 15 plays for the Broncos, and that drive took 7 minutes and 26 seconds. We have seen two very impressive drives thus far in the football game. First by the Mustangs, later by the Broncos, and in both cases, balance is what sticks out. A nice combination of running and passing. So Craig Johnson's turn, he had a spectacular 80-yard drive last time out using his seldom-used fullback, Dan Craig. To give us to Jackson. Jackson hit at the line of scrimmage, falls forward for about three yards. Number 88, Dave Shonak makes the stop. The Broncos have a 3-4 look to their defense, and as you pointed out, the key man really is that inside linebacker Dave Ramona. He has been awesome. 105 total tackles coming into this game. He had 16 tackles in the ball game against Cal Poly earlier this year. That's Dave Shonak, the man who made the last stop, number 88. 6'2", 235 pound softball is to give us to Jackson again. Jackson can't turn the corner. Excellent open field tackle that time by Greg O'Leary, number 39. A defensive tackle who is a former linebacker, high school All-American from Stockton. There's Lewis Jackson. Two-yard game. So now we have third in what appears to be an obvious passing situation. Let's see if Craig Johnson elects to go upstairs. His favorite target, of course, is number five, Robbie Martin. But with the type of coverage we're seeing today, you may see him going to one of his secondary receivers. Straight back to pass is Johnson. Johnson across the middle. Martin overthrown and almost intercepted by number 31, Jeff Lane. Lane had his hands on it. He's the sophomore out of Saratoga. Jeff Lane has been busy. 53 total tackles and three interceptions. He wanted Robbie Martin, but Robbie Martin again was covered all over the field. They told us yesterday when we spoke to Santa Clara officials that they could not let Robbie Martin have anything. They said that would be probably their main key. Jeff Harrison back deep for the Broncos. Averages 40.1 yards a kick. High spiraling kick. Harrison takes it at the 